Hello people, welcome back. I'm Anishu Agle and this is my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you the things which I have been doing in... Uh, basically I have started doing this from today's morning but uh, I, I just want to share it with you and let you know what I have done so far and what I'm planning to do. So here is a concept of creating a real-time ecosystem simulation. It is basically uh, like a park where many AI mobs work around and live. So that's basically the concept. And what I'm thinking about doing is that creating a game based on this the same concept. So this is what I have done and what I'm planning to do in the future. So I created a let me at first say what I'm going to use. So for this project, I'm using Godot game engine, which is an open source game engine. So here till today, let me explain what I've done. And later on, I will explain to you what I'm planning to do and what is going to happen to this project in the future. So let's start here. I created a new project in Godot, which is right here. And as a first part, I created a environment. Basically, what I did is created a ground plane, uh, which looked just like this, and few walls, and created a main main arena, which looked like this. So this was the first step of my project. And in the second part, what I did was creating character with the character controller what that means is that uh, I create a player <laughs> which is this small spear and I give this small cube in it so that I can say what it is looking at so uh, this was my character and I wrote pretty basic code into it so that it can move around in our in our arena so if I play this game uh, you can see that it is basically a mob which randomly move around in this arena so for now what I'm planning is creating a lot of these mobs and in the future what I can do is implement basic AI uh, built around in this mob so that many interesting things can happen uh, for the AI, what I'm planning on doing is implementing genetic algorithm in this mob so that we can see the different generations, what are the different traits they can learn and they can pass and so on. So starting from genetic algorithm, what I, what I want to do is move forward to neat algorithm which is basically similar to genetic algorithm but has its own deep neural network so that the learning process will become extremely complicated and I think we can surely see some interesting stuff happening in our simulation. So that is the future plan and in the next video what I'm planning to do is give them some vision so that if we see right now then it just go in the wall and try to go through the wall and I surely don't want that to happen so I want to give them give give him a vision so that I can see so that he can see where he is moving and make decision around that so this is the plan and that is up to what I have done so far so this is it and I can simply duplicate this around to create more than one mobs and what happens is they simply move in the random direction doing random things uh, it's like someone some species with completely no brain cell and just roaming around so but in future we will try and give them some intelligence and see where this project goes so thank you for watching and if you are new to the channel and interested in seeing this type of project or any other thing related to computer game designing modeling then you might consider subscribing as I am interested in doing th those things and of course i'm doing this social fun and hope you enjoy this as well thank you very much